Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the concept of pointers, which is a way of passing a value by reference. And what I mean by that is that we tell the program where the value is located rather than telling the program uh, what the value is itself. And uh, as an extra bonus, I'm going to bring together a few concepts we've covered before to show, show you how they work together. And th that is the for loop uh, arrays and how to uh, step through arrays and manipulate those and along with the pointers. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in this program, uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is just uh, explain the pointer from a very simple standpoint. Uh, in, in on the first line here, we create a ver an integer variable called Gandalf, and he's he's a hundred, um, and uh, this is just like we've done before with, in other programs. But on the next line, it's a little bit different. We we create an integer, but we use this asterisk sign in front of it. And uh, that asterisk sign means this is a pointer. And that tells the, the uh, program that we're going to store a memory address for an integer here rather than an integer itself. So this is a pointer. And, and uh, so since this is a location, we just called it Moria. OK, and now uh, next, uh, on the next line, we made Moria, which remember is, is it's expecting an address for an integer here, not an integer. And we made that equal to ampersand Gandalf. And when we put this, this symbol right in front of the variable, uh, we are accessing the location of that variable. So that, that's the difference here when we assign this. So, we are not assigning 100 to Moria. We are assigning the location of Gandalf in memory to Moria. And then on this very next line, we just uh, print it out on a screen to, to tell you what's going on. The value of Gandalf is, and I print, just print Gandalf on there, and then and he is located at Moria. And remember, Moria is a pointer to an address in memory. Okay, let's run this real quick uh, and uh, just to this point so you, you get that concept down. And it's going to be a whole bunch of other stuff here, but I'll just scroll to the top. And uh, here you can see the value of Gandalf is 100, and he is located at here. And this is a hexadecimal value. Uh, don't worry if you don't quite understand what that means at this point. It's not really important important at this point but it the main thing to understand is that is a an address in memory and so for all of you Tolkien fans out there uh, this is the address for Moria all right and uh, in <laughs> Uh, so, so next, I'm going to bring some of this together and show you how we can access uh, the address for a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, here, uh, I'm creating an array, and uh, you can go back and look at my array tutorial on, on to find out what those are. And the array hat is going to be 360 long, so there's going to be 360 integers in this my circle array. And then in, we use a for loop to actually assign values to those. So in this for loop, we are going to uh, loop uh, 360 times from 0 to 359. And uh, we're going to use that, uh, that loop counter to actually step through the array. So the first time through, it's equal to 0. So it's going to access the first space in that array. And it's going to assign the value of of zero there. So on the second time through, uh, I will be equal to one. It'll access the one index and it'll assign the value one. So it'll go through here and assign values to all, all 360 integers in that array. Okay, that's the first step. Next, I'm creating a pointer array. And just like up here, uh, this is not an array of integers, it's an, it's an array of integer addresses. It's very, very important distinction there because we're using the asterisk to declare it. So this is an array of pointers that we are declaring here. And there's 360 pointers uh, to uh, integer addresses. Okay, and uh, then we use a for loop again 
to uh, step through that array and assign the addresses from my circle. And, uh, and so again, we're using the ampersand sign to uh, uh, pass the address of my circle rather than the value of my circle. Okay, and so there will be 360 uh, integer addresses now stored here after it goes through this loop. And then in the final for loop, uh, we're simply printing them all to the screen. So you have my circle and has a value of, and then you're accessing the my circle array using the, the, the counter variable to access the, the appropriate value in, uh, in that array from up here. And since that's incremented, we'll go through each and every one. And then uh, the same thing, the stored at address uh, pointer. And this is just a, uh, going to print the address from the MyCircle address array uh, that corresponds to that same index. And so let's just go ahead and run it again. Um, and you can see... Uh, all these, uh, my circle has value, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want to show you one other thing. And if you uh, looked at my data type uh, video, um, we saw that uh, an integer has four bytes. And you can see here, uh, this is hexadecimal, but um, you can see that it's, uh, it goes from, there's uh, four values separated between here. And that's because an integer is four bytes, so it takes up four bytes in memory. And, and you can see that in an array, all of the values are stored sequentially in memory, uh, just like that. And so what we, what, what's useful about that is that uh, then we can later on, by using pointers, uh, and uh, we can use uh, mathematical operations to actually access different points in memory. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, based on some kind of uh, you know, variable or mathematical that uh, calculation. So, uh, we, it, the, uh, by combining these arrays and combining pointers, uh, uh, along with uh, for loops and and other things, there's a lot of power to be able to uh, really bit bang through uh, doing a lot of powerful stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe, and we will talk again real soon.